Today I wanted to give you guys a quick update on the e-ink smart frames that are coming to the market soon. There's actually one already, the reflection frame that has come to the market, but the others are pending very soon. And there's a new entry to the market that I've mentioned before, but I have more details now. So I wanna share some footage from CES and some details about it. Now this week, Ink Poster did send out an email about their frames, and they mention here that it's going to be available late June. I believe that's going to be the order date though, because I asked Enrico at Pocketbook, and he mentioned that they expect the first shipments to be in early July. So I'm guessing that will be the order date, and then the launch will be shortly after that. And then the reflection frame is actually the first one to come to the market. I had a prototype a few weeks back, but I sent it back to them. I already checked this one out. I did a live stream about it. You can check that out up here if you want. But this is a very finished product, even when I had it about a month ago. This one has NFC, which is a tap to touch feature. So basically that requires no Wi-Fi, which could be a benefit for some people. And so technically this is the world's first art frame that came to the market. But it is using a 13.3 inch panel and it's Spectra 6. All the 13.3 ones are 1200 by 1600 with 150 DPI. So Allura Tech and Reflection Frame, Allura Tech that we'll talk about in a little bit is using a 13.3, Reflection Frame is also, and then Bluminate and Ink Poster have the 13.3, but also offer other sizes as well. My friend Jeffrey Moss did a full review of this already, and I'll put that in the description if you wanna further check out some of his impressions. And that leads us into the Bluminate here. This was a Kickstarter campaign that ended pretty recently. So I believe this will probably be the last one to come to market, but this one will have SD card compatibility to load photos onto, and it will have Ikea frame compatibility so you can replace the frame. I will have links to all of these below if you're interested in checking them out. They are not affiliate links at all, just kind of trying to summarize everything here for you. The Bloomin' 8, their Kickstarter ended, but you can go purchase a perk on Indiegogo right now. And you can see they have a lot of early bird things still. But notice here, this is more expensive than the Kickstarter was. It's um, 394 US dollars, but the 28.5 E-Ink Spectra 6 with the Sharp technology, this will certainly be the cheapest version of that compared to the Ink Poster. And now on to the Allura Tech. So I got a chance to check this out at CES. So if you kind of do a refresh once a day, it probably lasts about six months. Okay. And or even without battery, that picture will stay on there forever. Yeah. Okay. So you only yeah. use power when you you know take a picture with over or change it. Yeah. Is it uh, USB C rechargeable? Yes, it is. So on the side, there's a USB port. And there are three parts that you can use: one's power, yeah. one's reset, and one's basically next, which okay. means that you can refresh your pictures. Yep. Very cool. And so uh, I assume you have a respective app that you can just upload them? Or... Correct. So we have an app you can send over and through the app you can, you know, let's, you'll keep a list of the picture you sent. And then you can actually pick and choose, okay, I want to look at this picture right now. Okay. You can press it, then you can basically change that picture. Yeah. Also, by the way, all of these have apps. The ink poster is not available yet, but Bluminate, the Alert Tech frame time, and the reflection frame have apps. So you can actually go check those out if you want to see uh, AI art generation and just how the app works in general. The Allure Tech is interesting for a couple of reasons. I would tend to go with the matte version, I believe. But also when I look here, it doesn't seem that they have that glossy panel that they had at CS. Uh, uh, Built-in battery as well then? Correct. Is this almost like the module that's in there? That Correct, it, so like, this one kind of the same thing. So this is the same thing that's actually in there. Yeah, and it's then the frame just develops it. The, yep. yeah. And then we're going to include a few of the different color of the map, so you can change it to match your picture. Are you, like. you going to do uh, different frames as well? Right, we yeah. have a bunch of requests for different type of frame yeah. with the frame. Kind of like so, the yeah. Samsung frame TV yeah, where so, you can like put on. Yeah, on so we are going to provide different options so people can kind of customize what they want. That's nice, yeah, the quality looks great. Yeah, so this is kind of what... So we have two styles right now. This one's a little, like, shinier. Right, so... This one's more matte, on but it's a little recessed, yeah. So some people prefer that, or some prefer this. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. It looks to me like they got rid of it, and probably for good reason. You'll see in the lighting there, that's one thing about Spectre 6, you need good lighting, but also if you have a glass like panel in front of it and off-axis lighting, it's gonna reflect a lot. 
And so I think they made the smart move, at least from what I'm seeing here. I'm going to confirm more with them in a little bit. The matte option is probably the right move, I think. Now, a few things that are interesting about this. You can see here they just started their Kickstarter, $299. This is certainly the cheapest option you can get a 13.3 inch size for now. And that is something they told me at CS that was going to be the price point. So that confirms it. And Alluratech, just like Ink Poster, are well established companies. So you can see Alluratech makes a lot of smart frames. So you can expect the app to be decently well polished and they have experience in this market. Just like Ink Poster and Pocketbook, it is a reputable brand already. So that is something to note when you are, are shopping for these. They say the battery can last a year if you ch uh, change it every day and then two years if you change it about every week. And obviously that is one of the benefits of Spectra 6. You don't have to have it plugged in all the time, but you can have images that keep generating or things you can plug in. I believe this one, you can actually have up to 10 images. So you'll see there is a USB-C port on the side and I believe you can load up to 10 images and those can cycle through. So it must have a pretty small memory bank in there. One nice thing about this though, out of the gate, you will have the ability to change the interval of images. So if you want to do that multiple times per day, multiple times per week, or just kind of every once in a while, that is an option. And it even has a next button, so you can cycle there without even using the actual app. But all of these manufacturers have told me that they will integrate that feature, but they might not be available from launch. But the Alertech seems like it will have that feature right out of the gate. So you can see the weight here is uh, roughly under five pounds. I'm actually surprised they don't show this more on their Kickstarter page, but this I think is one of the coolest features of the Alluratech, and that would be here. So they include a little acrylic stand that you can prop the non-matted display on. So essentially, if you look at Spectra 6 like this, this is all filler space and it's made to look more artistic, but the actual panel has a little frame inside that's very small. And so if you look at this image here, that is essentially just a little housing for the Spectra 6 panel. And I think this can go into the art frames that they will provide, which can also have a black or a white matting. But a lot of people on my ink poster video commented that they didn't want like an art piece. Let's say maybe you just wanted to put like a photo or maybe some more modern art. Perhaps you don't want that old school looking past part out and the actual art frame. So this gives the ability to do that. I don't know if it's gonna have the ability to hang on the wall this way. It just seems like it's meant to be put on that little stand. And that's also what they had at CS. But I don't see why you couldn't just put little 3M strips, pat them on the back. It's not very heavy. This has gotta be even lighter than 4.85 pounds. And you could just stick that onto the wall somewhere. Uh, maybe even the Velcro ones where you could remove it if you need to charge it or something like that. So you can also set slideshows. You can set it once a day. Yeah. 10 days, 5 days. Nice. And you said on average the battery should last about yeah, six, if you do, six, we, six months. Yeah, we tested where if you do once a day switch, it's only about 6 months. But we're also experimenting, uh, maybe doing a bigger battery if people want it to last longer. Yeah. So it just depends on, you know, I think 6 months is long enough where, you know, most people probably are not going to change it much. Yeah. And we're thinking of a traditional picture frame that. Like maybe a few months, okay, I want to change a different picture. Yeah. So, I like the regular picture frame that you yeah. do a refresh every slide every yeah, like kind of slide or so every, or something. But it's different, you have to have a pocket. Yeah. So that's the benefit of not needed. Yeah, no, uh, no power drop. Yeah, yeah, so I would have to hang on the wall anywhere. Yeah. Or, well, a lot of people ask if you use it for signage. Yeah. You know, kind of like we have a few articles there. We can use it for signage, it stays there, or in the menu. Yeah. Very cool. Awesome. Well, thanks. Your name is Amanda. This is, uh, I think, what a lot of people have been looking for. So definitely uh, check them out on Kickstarter. Hopefully that is a good wrap up of these devices. You can see my Spectra playlist right here if you'd like to check that out. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.